你好吗 ？This show, entitled "The China from the Silk Road to 798 Art Zone," is the culmination of the efforts by art students who participated in the China Study Abroad program sponsored by the Arts Institute last spring. The results are beautiful. This is a strong and powerful art show, very solid, and this represents the students. Individual and artistic interpretation of their experiences in China. The Arts Institute at Montgomery College makes possible exceptional learning opportunities in the arts on all three campuses for our students, our faculty, and our community. The Arts Institute Study Abroad program has done three trips: two to Italy and one to China. It's funded by donors to the Montgomery College Foundation, and it provides opportunities for students to experience things that they would otherwise have never had the opportunity to see and hear and feel. Nine students participated, uh, representing all four campuses, uh, and they took a course, art history course, taught by Dr. Ken Jesse uh, before the trip. This was a way to. Get out of the the routine to prepare a new class because before the students went, I organized the an art history class on the history of China, sort of mini class, and then going on the trip to visit the sites that we talked about is a, is an incredibly enriching experience. Our recent trip to China with nine students and two faculty members provided this group of people an opportunity to see a different culture, a different government, different architecture. A whole completely different kind of society, which none of them had ever seen before, and so、uh, it was a great opportunity for our students and our faculty to come back and bring back to their personal artworks、uh, completely new experiences. We started out from the ancient capital city of Xi'an, which was actually the starting point of the Silk Road. And Xi'an is the ancient capital of、uh, the Jin Empire, which is well known for its、uh, terracotta warrior site. And we traveled from Xi'an to the west, following the Silk Road. We went to Tunhuang, you know, which is famous for its Buddhist cave paintings, and all the way up to the northwestern part of China, which is Xinjiang.、Uh, and、uh, we went back to. The east to Beijing. Beijing was our last、uh, destination. So the title of the show indicates the Silk Road that we followed, and the Seven Nine Eight Art Zone is the name of the art district in、uh, Beijing, which showcases the uh, new, uh, energetic, contemporary、uh, art site in Beijing. After they came back from the trip, they studied、uh, under my guidance during the summer and created all these、uh, beautiful art pieces. The art that I created is、uh, definitely in two different styles. The class that we took was focused on painting, and then I managed to incorporate some of my graphic arts、uh, influence into some of the other works that I did. In this class, having come from China and、um, being inspired by all the stuff that I saw there, and the people that I met there, the people on the trip,、um, this is very.、Um, what can I say? It was an inspiring trip. There were four places that we went to, and there was Xi'an, Dunhuang, Urumqi, and Beijing. Each section represents a different part that we went to, and it's separated by bamboo and. I just basically had to come up with four compositions and make it in one. The name of the two pieces are: first one is abstracted afterlife, and the second one is subdued but not suppressed. And the first one, abstracted afterlife, was inspired by the terracotta warriors, just how the the first emperor had the misconception of the afterlife and how he put all his hopes into something of earth, of clay, that eventually would crush down around him. And the second one, subdued but not suppressed. I got the idea originally from the mountains that we were going through near the Flaming Mountains, and through the speeches and lectures from Professor Jassy, Chinese social structure is kind of pyramidal. There's very few at the top, and they have all the 
um, pleasures, they have all these um, benefits, but the people below them are not so well off. So I try to capture like both the grandeur of the Chinese mountains and also kind of say something a little bit at the same time about the Chinese social structure. The experience Danhua was influenced by my most amazing experience when I was in China, which was when I was in Danhuang, which was the second city that we went to. It was breathtaking. I mean, I, I didn't even know that we were going to see anything like that. And um, it was, I, at the time, I thought that it was the, the best experience of my life because not only did I ride a camel that day, but we climbed the dune. It was really, really hot, and you know, I had like this much water left, and it was, uh, I was like, do I really want to go to the top? So I, I did, I went to the top, and um, I just basically thought, 10 years from now, am I going to regret not going to the top? So that's why I painted this painting, because of that experience. I took over 2,000 pictures, and I um, took three of my favorites, one of a tree, one of uh, a pagoda, and one of the dunes, and I combined the three, and I produced this. I decided to take uh, a leave of absence from my job, so I had the six weeks off after the, the trip to spend in the class full time and to really spend and immerse myself in the artwork, and that was a real good decision. And it's the first time as an artist I've taken that much time to just let myself do my work and honor, honor myself in that way. It went by really fast, and I got most, a lot of my, most of my inspiration from the uh, city of Xi'an where the terracotta warriors are and also as we went near uh, the Flaming Mountains in Turpan. I was really motivated when we went to the 798 Art District which is in Beijing. They're just like artists all there with their own studios. I really also want to travel to other countries um, and paint. I just want to go and sit in these places that I'm not used to and let it just around me and I want to just paint. Many of them never traveled before out of this area. This was such a wonderful opportunity and I hope this tradition continues and more and more students benefit from this exciting opportunity. For students who are interested in being able to have the opportunity to take this trip is to really dedicate yourself to your, your work in your school and get to know your um, your advisors and get to know the people that teach you the classes because those are the people that have the power to be able to, um, to nominate you for something like this. I graduated this spring um, 2008 and right now I'm not going to school but I am still doing art. I do it uh, part-time just doing uh, freelance artwork. I literally had no idea of all of the amazing things that uh, I would be able to experience not only with this trip, but in um, being a student at Montgomery College. I would have never dreamed that I would be able to do this, but I'm a hard-working student, I'm dedicated, and I really got to know my professors and my instructors and my uh, advisors, and it made a big difference. I'm working part uh, full-time and doing art part-time, but hopefully I'll be able to switch that. I didn't even want to finish after two years because I, was, I, just, I just loved um, the education and that I was getting, and and all of the experiences and all the things that I was learning, everything that um, everyone was teaching me. So um, I would just like to say thank you to Montgomery College for that. Individuals who would like to help fund these kinds of possibilities for our students can call me directly at 240-567-5831 and we'll have a meeting and we'll talk with our foundation people and see uh, what might work both for the potential donor and for the college.